Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. We are back again looking at yet another exotic weapon and this time it is a fan favourite from Destiny 1. If the gameplay in the background isn't already a big enough giveaway, then I am of course talking about the Mida multi-tool. It is back in Destiny 2 and what's more, if you want it, then you don't have to rely on RNG Jesus being kind to you. This one is actually linked to an exotic quest, or at least a quest of some sorts. It's not exactly like the exotic quests of old, but it's a quest for an exotic, so you get the idea. Either way, in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to get it, talk you through the various steps, and then after that we'll take a look at the weapon and I'll show you guys some gameplay of it in action. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys have got yourselves any cool exotics so far. Now, to begin with, I will of course avoid any spoilers, but ultimately if you do want to get this, you will have to have hit level 20 and you will have to have completed the campaign. The reason I say that is because once you have completed the campaign, then these little quests appear on the map. These are basically post-game quests. They will tell you a little bit more about the story. You find out more about characters. Again, obviously avoiding any specifics, but the point is these quests will show up on each of the four planets only once you complete the campaign and once you hit level 20. Now, in order to trigger the Minor Multitool quest and in turn get the weapon, you will need to complete all of these quests on Earth in the European Dead Zone. There are a few of them to do, they're tied to Devrim K, so you basically begin the very first one and upon completing it, it'll then continually add extra nodes to your map until the point that you complete them. I wouldn't say it's exactly a long chain of quests, it's probably something you can do in about an hour, hour and a half, give or take, depending on of course whether you're playing solo or playing with friends. But either way, once you have completed the quest chain, you will then return to Devrim K and he will give you a Mida mini tool. Now this is technically speaking unrelated, it's just a kind of cool weapon. I will actually take a better look at it at the latter part of this video, but that is essentially the reward you get for completing his quest chain. However, if you then, upon doing so, return to the tower or the farm, whatever social space you want to go to, and go to the gunsmith, he will then have the start of a quest for you. The very first thing he will give you is the step for the quest Sight, Shoot, Repeat. For this, you will need a scout rifle and you will need to eliminate enemies with precision shots using a scout rifle and you'll need 50 kills like this. So that is 50 scout rifle precision shots. And you will also need to eliminate multiple enemies without reloading, again using a scout rifle. And for this, you'll need 25 of those. Now, the quantity for multiple appears to be about three. Two didn't necessarily seem to rack up the tally, whereas when I hit three, then that seemed to work. So I'm guessing multiple is basically three or more. Either way, that is the very first step. 50 precision kills and 25 groups of multiple kills without reloading. Now obviously there are a wide variety of ways you can do this. You can go basically anywhere because it doesn't rely on a particular enemy type. You can kill whatever you want, wherever you want. However, if you are looking for some advice, then the location we actually used was on Titan. There is a public event that triggers relatively frequently near one of the drop zones, and the actual public event is the Witch's Ritual. Now, the reason this is good is because it's in a relatively enclosed area, kind of a pretty tight claustrophobic room, and there's a portal where at some point during the public event, a load of Thrall will run at the door, and of course, Thrall being the weakest hive enemies, you can kill them really, really easily. So whether you're going for the multiple kills or whether you're going for the precision kills or two birds, one stone, then this is actually a pretty good way to rack it up. I actually got half of this done in just one run with this, so you can then just kind of wait for it to restart, or you can go and then farm other things. So either way, you know, obviously you can do whatever you want, you can go wherever you want to do this, but if you are looking for some advice, then that is the public event that we used. And once you've done that, you then return to Banshee again, you speak to him, and you then move on to the next stage of the quest, which is under the hood. And this will require that you dismantle five rare or legendary scout rifles. Now, this is the kind of bottleneck for me, and this is actually where I'm swapping over to my friend's account, because we were all playing this together. However, I got super unlucky. I have had a ton of scout rifles drop for me during my time playing. However, at the time when I needed to dismantle five of them, I only had about three left, so I then went out to try and complete public events, lost sectors, anything like that that would give me loot, and I just couldn't get a scout rifle to drop. So, if you guys are watching this and you haven't necessarily started the quest, I would just say hold on to some scout rifles, just throw five of them into your vault if you can. They can be rare, they can be legendary, just make sure you have them because you will need them at some point. 
But either way, however you do it, get five scout rifles, dismantle them, and you will then move on to the third and final stage of the quest. That is, of course, the fool will kill you. And for this one, you need to get 50 airborne kills with an SMG. Again, on whatever enemy you want, so you can do this wherever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Just grab an SMG and do that in the air. And in fact, given the fact that you need to use an SMG, that actually ties quite nicely into the Mida Mini tool that you were given earlier because that is actually an SMG, a pretty fast firing one, a really cool weapon. It looks really cool as well. So you might as well put it to some good use and use that to complete this part of the quest. You don't have to, you can just use a regular SMG, but given the fact that you've been given it, then you might as well use it. So once you've done that, you completed it, you return to Banshee one more time, and he will then give you the Mida multi-tool. This is, of course, the Destiny 2 version, but that, my friends, is how you complete the quest. That is what you need to do, and of course, all the associated steps. So, with all of that out of the way, now you guys know how to get it, let's take a look at the weapon. First up, it does have a new paint job this time around. It's got this kind of cool green camo look, which is slightly different to the original look, but if we actually jump over to the perks, you start at the very beginning, you do of course still have the traditional Mida multi-tool perk, whereby when you have this weapon equipped, it boosts your movement speed. On top of that, you also have corkscrew rifling, where you have a balanced barrel for a slight increase to your range of stability and a slight increase to your handling speed. On top of that, you also have the high caliber rounds, so then shots from this weapon knock the target back, and in turn, this also slightly increases your range. You also have the Mida radar, so with this one, your radar stays active whilst aiming down sights, making it incredibly useful for Crucible. This is, of course, for those of you guys that are new to Destiny 2, this weapon was a fan favorite in the Crucible in the original Destiny, so that in itself is pretty useful. And of course, the final perk, is hand laid stock and this just increases your stability of course as with all the other weapons you have the option to infuse it you have the base weapon attack mod this can of course be changed later on and you do also have an ornament slot now i of course don't have the ornament in this situation but you can go over to test everest and inspect it and this is what the ornament looks like it is called all the essentials looks really really cool it almost reminds me a little bit of the arctic camo ornament from the destiny one version of the weapon but i do prefer this one the white and black color scheme is very cool definitely something i want for sure but that is of course your alternate option now just before i jump over to the gameplay while it's not strictly related to the video because of course this is all about the mida multi tool given the fact that during the process we did get the mida mini tool I did want to show it to you guys really quickly. It looks really, really awesome. It almost looks like a weapon you would see in something like Ghost in the Shell, but just very quickly taking a look through the perks, this one deals solar damage, but of course being a weapon mod, you can of course swap that out for Arc or Void if you so wish. And as for your perks, you have lightweight frame, so superb handling and you move faster when this is equipped. That's a default SMG perk. You also have the fluted barrel, which greatly increases your handling speed and increases your stability. You then have Alloy Magazine for faster reloads when the magazine is empty. And then finally, you do have a really, really cool perk, and this one is Mida Synergy. And this one will give you speed benefits if you have Mida Multi-Tool equipped at the same time as this. So if you want to run the Mida Pair, then you're going to get an additional bonus on top. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, that is essentially everything you need to know. That is how you get it, how you complete the quest chain, and of course, what the weapon looks like, the perks. So all that is left now is to leave you guys with a little bit of gameplay so you can see the weapon in action. Much like I've done in the other videos, I won't be doing any story stuff. I will just be doing a public event so you can just see me shooting some bad guys out on the planets. But for the time being, that is it from me. Make sure you guys catch up if you've missed any of the videos today. I'll of course have a lot more coming your way tomorrow. But until then, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. has been reported en route to an ether drop. Look at those folks, acting like they own this place. Take down that servitor and they starve.